Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I would like to update the uh, Matter Science Pack 1 and 2 build. Um, the main uh, conclusion that I came to thinking about this a little bit offline is I want to have copious copious storage for scrap because this is where it's going to come to before the overflow uh, goes downstairs to get turned into iron, copper, etc. Ninja Dogs, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in Veldak. Good to see you again also. Um, so yeah, I th I'm thinking even... What's the, like, densest container that I have? This is 512. Bulk rail loaders and unloaders are 320, I believe. Um, here we go. Yeah. Uh, 320 stacks each. <coughs> oh, no. What happened to my mute? Oh, no, it's backwards. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's supposed to be muted when the scroll lock is on. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, Shmoo. Welcome in. Dylan, welcome in also. Are you feeling better? Uh, somewhat, yes. Um, I hope to at least get, like... I, I, hopefully we can do, like, five hours today. We'll see. But I can at least do a bit, that's for sure. Okay. Um... So we're going to have SIG data catalog 1 and 2 and two different input fluids. Same output fluid, same junk outputs. Uh, welcome in Dylan, if I didn't say so. Chun Chun Murray. Chigaru. Chun Chun Murray. Let's go. Name in base. Here we go. Uh, where should we fit Chun Chun Murray? Maybe up here? It's a little bit long. Like something like this. Fantastic. Uh, mark as complete. Alright, so I want to have... Upgrade to gold? <laughs> okay then. Upgrade Chun Chun Maru to gold. Subarashi. All right, uh, where were we? We want a massive storage for scrap, for input for both of these. They're also sharing SIG data and supercooled as inputs. So maybe we could do one big shared station between the two of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can easily get three per second. Yeah, even without a beacon, we could do three per second. Uh, for each of these with just one machine. No worries there. Uh, I guess I kind of want to make sure... Uh, all the solids and fluid... All of the input-output is super slow. Like, we're not worried about belts or pipes. In terms of throughput. So whatever we can make fit is going to be a good... Uh, final tier build. Worth it, indeed. Um, what if you've, 
What if we have like a few drop-off stations for scrap? Because it'll be coming from several places. I, okay, here's the thing. If our scrap is full at the drop-off that goes into matter science, we want scrap to go straight down the space elevator, right? But we want that to be a last resort, and we want to have copious storage at uh, the point of... making matter science. If we had all of the scrap go through the matter science build, um, it would give us a lot more security to not, like, run out of scrap for matter science. Um, it's kind of weird that, come to think of it, that the research that we were doing was, uh, like, net negative on... It wasn't net negative on scrap, it's just that the scrap was getting tossed downstairs. Just how much scrap does it take to get, like, 10k of these? Uh, ooh, quite a bit. Stack size goes from 50 to 200, and we're going from 10 scrap to 2 matter science packs. Or 4 matter packs 2s. So if we're doing one of those researches that... doesn't produce as much scrap and consumes matter science packs. It's going to be easy to get jammed. Uh, maybe I should just have like a... I, I could have... In, instead of changing this, which I think we already ratioed for like top tier modules, um... Maybe instead I could have a storage for scrap, which only allows a train to take it down to get turned into iron, etc. If the storage is getting quite full. And then, well, there's no reason that I can't just put the matter build right next to that, because the only, the only consumer of scrap, besides matter science, is scrap recycling. Uh, let's see. Matter science, cargo, uh, delivery cannon, capsule, matter science... Scrap recycling, landfill, and just delete. Yeah, so there's literally no other consumer. Um, like the scrap recycling doesn't, in in the sense that I'm thinking of it, doesn't really count as a consumer. It's just like what we do to deal with the scrap because we've always got too much. So yeah, I think I do want to have. I want to redo the uh, the matter sciences and have a really, really big storage for scrap. And as a last resort, um, that can go downstairs. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, I guess we can just include scrap in one of these. Just the standard new space elevator transfer system that we're building. Um, so LTN can handle getting rid of it. Hope you're well. Ben, ben Wu. Zero, guy, three, D. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hope your stream went well today. It was today, right? Everything blurs together. I, I am a little bit better than yesterday, I think. Um, well, what if we have, like, let me just see what I already built. 
both of these next to a single container drop-off. What if we supplied everything but scrap this way? And we simply... Uh, there's, there's already stuff here. It's going to be a bit awkward trying to squeeze in scrap IO over here. But I guess we could do it. Let, let's start by copying this. And I'm just going to toss that down here. And... It goes there. And then what if we added... Down here or something? So if we have a double train drop-off, a double wagon drop-off... That's up to 640 stacks just for scrap. We stop requesting scrap over here. We can do short train drop-off for these things, that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, the rate of consumption for them is always going to be pretty damn low. Uh, what's this? Is thermo fluid, and we've got those other two fluids being dropped off over here. It'd be pretty awkward to try and fit them in here. I don't think we could really. Um, yeah, I don't really mind the build we came up with before, except, except, except. I guess we're going to add that's in the way. Can we move this down a couple of tiles? Okay, so if we have a pickup station here We want to request scrap. Oh no. I fear I'm going to have to go through every single station that outputs scrap uh, from our rail system. Uh, if I can find one as an example. Uh, and give it a specific encoded network ID. Because the default is basically universal. Um, it's like on all channels at once. Where, what, where do we produce? Okay, pretty much everywhere over here, right? There we go. Um, so yeah, by default, all of our scrap pickup stations have no encoded network ID, which means every encoded network ID. Lord, uh, Lord Squirrel, I almost said. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Stream was good. 100% just building a cool looking bridge and satisfactory. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I saw a bit of that. It's a shame you can't measure this base's output by location. Uh, I mean, we sort of can, but... Yeah, I, I fear I'm going to have to go through every station that outputs scrap. Uh, and give it an encoded network ID. Because we're going to want... Well... Yeah, we're, we're going to request scrap here. From everywhere except for this one. So these two are going to be on mutually exclusive encoded network IDs. The only other requester for scrap is going to be a station to send things down the elevator. Right? And then it's a vanilla pickup, so LTN, like, doesn't know about it. 
So if this requests scrap from everywhere, it's going to be a lot more than 10k. I might need, like, multiple train stops to do this. I don't know if I should be trying to squeeze it into the space that we've got here. But let's just pretend that this is bigger. Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. How is it going? I think I missed like two or three weeks. Um, pretty good. I think the uh, I think the new dispatch is working smoothly. Um, every time we've checked, barrel core frags in storage. Every time we've checked since making the last change, the count of chips with each core fragment type has been correct. Um. I, I really don't understand why. Like, I have some theories, but... Uh, with this uh, system where we've got a signal delayed and green greater than red means the ship just arrived. Red greater than green means the ship just left. Um, we piggybacked on top of that just to say if red greater than green send signal for minus one... Uh, like, minus one core frag to represent that ship with that resource type uh, to the counter. But it wasn't always working. It was, like, almost always working, which is terrible. Um, so there was a drift. But what really, really confused me about it is uh, we had a little bit of drift in both directions, I believe, if I recall correctly, which is super strange, especially since... The only thing that cha the only thing we changed was the trigger for when it would subtract one uh, like core fragment of that type from the counter. We just do it when this memory cell gets populated and we reset the one at central, which is you know close enough. It's I mean it's literally only a few seconds apart from when this one would have happened, and it happens exactly once. Uh, after the ship lands. So, it's fine. But yeah, um... So far, and it's been longer and longer and longer, uh... It seems like... the counter has been correct since we made that change. Why are there no, almost no ships for Vita core frags? I don't know, honestly. Uh, now there's six, actually. Yeah, now, now we've got as many ships moving Vita in this moment as anything else. Although this one counts at the moment. Once you see this light pop, uh, once the ship has a job, that's when we subtract one from the count. So this one technically counts as being like on the way back right now. There we go. But yeah. Um, I don't know if it was just variance or something. Anyway. Can we fit, like, another one of these? We can if we're okay with moving the pylon. Not enough ships? Well, we'll see. Everything's pretty saturated. Crazy Heather, welcome in. Thank you so much. I am feeling a bit better. Um, so I guess what I want to do here is... Turn these around. We want drop off into storage, storage into, uh, I'm going to have to like keep it balanced as well, yuck. Mm. 
Okay, it's probably better if we have, like, some big containers here. Let's just go with this. Make it nice and fast. Because there's going to be an awful lot of traffic for this stop. Well, that's a little bit inconvenient. I guess we only need a couple of these. It doesn't really look like it's in the middle. So I guess we could have... Um, Oh, that doesn't reach. All right. Could, could I put this over here? How's that? What's the max rate for all of the scrap? Oh my goodness. Well, no, I mean, what's like the overall rate for all of the scrap is what I really want to know. If, if we're doing the most scrap intensive research. I'll probably just end up having to expand this. What I want to do is drop off into storage into these machines. And if the storage is really, really full, uh, we're allowed to pick it up to take it to go down the elevator. And I fear I'm going to have to... Encoded network ID every single station that provides scrap so it doesn't go down that elevator directly. Alternatively, if I just make this a higher priority, maybe it's fine if they skip this station if we've got loads of storage. Yeah, probably. Um, but... Just gonna limit that to 50 stacks. Actually, this is always gonna be a long train, right? Well, this part, I, I don't really want to do the belt coming from the bulk rail loaders to these. Maybe that's fine. Actually, if I provide stack threshold for the trains to take this away, is really, really high, then it's probably okay to belt it straight back into here. But then... But then this is going to get imbalanced, is the thing. Which is kind of why I was doing what I was doing already. I really don't like the shape of this anymore. Okay, can we... I could always move these builds. Can we maybe start over a bit? Let's let's just put aside the notion that it would be nice uh, if we could stick to the shape of the old build entirely. I don't mind this though. Maybe we could do the fluid drop-off over here. Might even turn out to be a bit neater. Mm, probably not so much. Since the thermofluid has to come from the north... And these come from the right. Okay. A abandon all baggage from our previous version. Oops. Uh, I would like to have... 
preferably... Actually, the fluids are super slow, right? So it really doesn't matter where this comes from. But it would be good if we could just connect that directly. Uh, underground pipes can't reach this far. And this would be in the way anyway. So that's going to have to be like this or like this. Overall rate of fluid consumption is going to be super slow. Yep, pretty much. Welcome in, Scobix. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I could move these a couple of tiles apart. Um, I do kind of like how we had just one container supplying the shared solids for these two, except for the scrap. That way we never have to worry about the balance. Also, we know the throughput is pretty low. How close can we put this? About here? And if it's going to be that close, it's got to be inserters. I guess technically no it doesn't, but we've got three solids or two solids coming in from here, so yes it does. Uh, and we've got thermo fluid. We can't, there's no way we can do all three fluids here, right? Not if we're going to direct insert, I don't think. Maybe? Okay, here is a shape that I never considered. Well, it's not going to work. Because the pipe would have to go up here. If I do belts with filters, we need two belts. One for catalogs, one for SIG data. Hello there, Pospec. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, one, two, three, four fluid inputs. I don't think we can pull this off with one little station. It would be cute if we could, though. Oh, sorry, my bad. Three fluid inputs. So something like... I guess that could go like there. And then these two... That one doesn't line up very well. We just do it like this. I don't like that. That's a little bit better. Uh, how the heck are we going to do the belts? Uh, we're not. Good talk. Yeah, no. I think we should have a separate station for the fluids. So, I think we were on the right track with that first design. For the most part. We put this here, and this here. And we should be able to reach just barely to link our thermofluid output. 
And that can go there still. And this would be one off from connecting. We could do the 20, uh, negative 273 thermo fluid up here. And honestly, we could do the thermo fluid in and out. Except that the fluid wagon brings 60k and this only fits 50k. Is the only thing. So we'd need like two of these. Which is going to make it look a bit weird. Alternatively, I could put like huge tanks over here, but then we don't have room for how we want to do this. We could do the thermo output over here as well. Let's see. Uh, so we've got how many? We've got two physical junk outputs. Which is why I had them like here and here. One junk output here, and one over here, perhaps. And we could have drop-off for scrap. Which... That's not a drop-off, is it? Uh, drop-off for scrap could also be drop-off for the other two fluids. And maybe even... pick up... or negative 25 thermo fluid. Or 25, rather. Oops. I think I'd like these to be a bit more... Equal and opposite. And we could just do the 25 thermo fluid at one of these. Probably the nearest one. And whichever solid junk output is slower. Broken data cards can come over here. And 25 degree thermo fluid. So something like this. Uh, this is... Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Science pack what? Oh, they have the same recipe? Wait, what? Matter science pack one. Did I not just... Oh, I didn't remove the excess. Okay. So just to give us a little visual representation of what needs to be dropped off here. We can obviously directly connect our pack ones. And kind of like this better. No, I don't. And this will be pretty similar to what we already had before. Or 
Except, does that, that doesn't reach, does it? No, not even close. Maybe do something like this. Or the fluid input. Um, that doesn't reach across. It's one tile short. Boo. How about this then? No, that's not going to work unless we do this, I guess. Just enough room to pull that off. That's a bit spaghetti, but I guess it's not too bad. Space Panda, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, does that reach? It does. Fantastic. Quite quite surprised it does, actually. Oh, also we can do this. It looks a little bit less, uh, I don't know, sketchy. And then... I think we're going to need to have... a central storage chest for the scrap. Does that fit? No, it's one off. Yuck. Maybe we can just pipe around this or something. There's no middle tile with this either. That makes me upset arrows. What if we put it here? Uh, and we can use Deep Space Underground to input this over here. Looks a little bit weird with the mixed belt colors now. Not that this looks like it's exactly black to start with. What colors are available for Deep Underground? There is a grey one, but it's like... Well, it, it's technically called white. Yeah, no, I've looked at this before. It doesn't really help. Um, but yeah, we could have... Another 512 stacks of scrap over here. Um... A little bit awkward trying to fit the belts over this way. I guess we'll just do it like this. And LTN needs to know what's in this container. Okay. So that gives us... That should be able to stay balanced if we only allow long trains, right? No matter how this consumes. Except the belt length, if that got completely full, would be a bit... Make that a little bit imbalanced. So we can do 512 plus, like, 600. Um, let's say, like, 1100 stacks. 55,000 scrap. Which is 11 train loads. That sounds pretty good. How much scrap does it actually take to make, like, 10k Matter Science Pack 2, though? It's 10 plus 10 divided by 2. So 10 scrap uh, divided by 4 times 10. 25,000. 
scrap makes 10k uh, matter science pack 2s, if I calculated that right. And we've got room here for 55k. I think that should be okay. And then we just make this a higher priority than sending scrap downstairs. And probably just don't worry about having trains pick up from here if it's overflowing. Because why? That, that might be the solution. Still in love with the graphic design of this mod, indeed. Good you. Yep, not too bad, thanks. Uh, did we do the inserters over here? We did not. Rip my little visual representation. And scrap. Right, I guess we need a lot more for this to stay in here. Fluids are going to be... that won't fit, will it? Oh, that's a little bit annoying. So we're going to have to go around the big container. Just like we did up here, kind of. So this one can be matter, this one can be particle stream. Um, how much do I really need to change what we've already got here if we want to make these changes? I need to change this station, and I don't think these need to change, and we need, like, room for big container over here. I don't think the junk outputs, or, or the outputs in general, need to change at all. It's really just... It's pretty much just the... The fluid drop-off. Okay. So let's get rid of this. And if I just paste this in and then clean up the mess, that might be a bit awkward. It might be a little bit awkward. Oh no, I copied in the requests yet. Well, it's fine, we'll figure it out. So this needs to go up here. Can't we, like, put this here as well? I guess it's going to look a little sketch. It's going to look a little sketch no matter how we do it, I think. Mm. Where is that going? Down here. Uh, and we made a complete mess of our fluid pipes. Fantastic. Not gonna need that. Not gonna need that. So this goes here. I can live with that. And that's supposed to be 
correct output. Okay. I kind of want to get rid of this inserter. And just put these straight into a splitter, maybe? Except we can't squeeze this in over here. Uh, it looks dodgy. It's gonna look dodgy no matter how I do it, I think. Because we don't quite have room to be symmetrical here. We're not gonna put the wrong thing into this container, not even for a second. Also, while we're at it, I guess we could update this. Although, now it looks weird again. It's a mixture of belts. Can I just, like... Up can I upgrade plan this, or... I don't think we can. Space splitter to deep. Uh, I guess we can actually. It just doesn't pick a default one. What? Why? Why are there like seven of these when in reality there's just one? Okay, that works. Uh, belt becomes belt. Underground belt becomes underground belt. Much easier. And then this can reach all the way over here. kind of weird. I guess it's going to look a little weird no matter what. Or we could just do more underground. Or we could just put this over here. Sure. Okay. But I didn't solve this problem. What are you doing? That output pipe is really annoying. What if we just... Ugh, I guess I could do this. Not a fan. No, th there isn't room. No wonder I ended up settling for what we already had. There's no way, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I could live with this. We just have to... Maybe put the pipe like th that? Don't love that either. Also, this doesn't work. Why you gotta be this way?
Why you gotta be this way? I should really add these before I forget. And we need some arbitrary connection points to make the pumps work. This is supposed to be antimatter. And this one is particle stream. Come to think of it, I guess technically it would be okay to red wire across this, the bulk rail loaders, but no, nah, yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. The output doesn't care if you send signals to it, though. Yeah, I guess that could work. You could do it that way if you wanted, but I don't want to. Yeah, there's just no way to do what I want to do here. Uh, I guess I could use an inserter here instead of... Instead of a belt. Uh, but I already didn't leave room to do like a winding belt here because, because we're belting from this. Actually, there wouldn't even be room for that. Yes, there would. Well, I, I, I could do it like this, I suppose. For the scrap input. Maybe I will settle for that. It also has a kind of symmetry to it because they're both getting the scrap input from the sides. Uh, so that's supposed to be junk and broken, right? Yes. And then we put a filter here. And just bring it through this way. Uh, so this is... Oh, this one's unfiltered, actually. Uh, this one is Matter Science Pack 1. Everything else down to here, broken data cards to here, junk data cards to here. And we can fit 11 train loads and change of scrap over this way. And we're not going to request scrap on this side. Scrap. Uh, these are fluids, they should both be down this end. 40k, oh, we want long trains. Mm. Just ask for 80k, so it'll request more when it's down to 20. Which should be more than sufficient. We can fit 100k fluids in storage here. For each type. And 55,000 scrap. Technically we've got 512 plus 640 stacks. So we can fit 57,600. So there should be a bit of slack there. Request stack threshold 100. Long trains only. I'm pretty sure we don't have a scrap output anywhere that's uh, short trains only. Uh, search for scrap. 
signal. No, not all surfaces. Oh, no. Alright, see you in a minute. Heretic, welcome in. Oh, right, it's not actually on a signal because it's a provider station. Um, that's actually a bit tricky. Well, I guess I can search for product scrap. Does that include byproducts? It does. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we've got actually several things to check here, but I'm pretty sure wherever the scrap, uh, we only allow long trains. Well, this one is short or long. This would be long trains only. Short or long, sure. Yeah, I, I, I very much doubt we're going to find one where we allow short trains only to take away scrap. I can't imagine that's the thing I would have done anywhere. And I guess we're just going to find out the hard way, if it is. Okay. So we want... Space. Get rid of all the excess. Uh, probably fill in the rest of that broken rail. And tidy that up a little bit. Looks kind of weird. And that's going to look off no matter where we cut it off. I can just about live with that. Eagle Wolf, welcome in. Alright, so if we copy past this over our build, we're going to have to move a few things first. Uh, why don't we start with the flooring? Let's just grab these tiles. Uh, and I guess also rail, just so we can see where it goes. Toss that down here for the moment. And that goes there. Might just go upstairs. Because some of this is going to be easier to do in person. Send the floor train over. And... Personal train over this way, please. No, oh, the scrap train's not here yet. Here it comes. Alright. So we're going to need to pick up the old belts. Most of the rest of this can stay in place. Uh, I don't want to use the bots while the train is here, otherwise it'll pick them up. It'll, it'll take priority. 
that's already populated. We just do this. Nope. Actually, uh, I might just pick this up because weird things happen with upgrade planners with belts in this run. Where we end up with loaders in our loaders. That's uh, a significant amount of matter. You know what? Matter and particle stream is cheap. I'm just gonna... Just gonna get rid of it. And we'll... Replace it. That is gonna be... Underground. And... I think the machines are supposed to be one tile closer, right? Oh, we can't pick a dollies this. That's a little bit rude. Alright. So we want this to go around about here. It's a bit easier to see on the map that it's only the bulk rail loaders that are complaining. So that should be fine. Oh, and this needs to move. No, don't bring the stuff yet. Man. Octanian, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that looks about right. Um... Yeah, uh, let's bring the construction train over. It should already have a couple of advanced research servers in there. Un unless it's not loaded at all, that might be a good idea. Advanced research servers... And we don't, I don't think we usually carry six by, oh, there, yeah, we do. We've got exactly one loaded. So we should be able to build this in one shot. Uh, I also want a compact beacon. We're just barely able to fit it around this other stuff I already put in. Nice. Uh, compact Beacon 2, because I don't want to have to bring it over later. And do we have those here? We should. Yeah. Shove them in the train. Compact Beacon 2. Should be on their way. Fantastic. And park over here, please. Okay. We got trains waiting to deliver... stuff. Don't know where they are because they can't path right now. What's going on here? Oh, I see. They're waiting for their chance to pick up the scrap. Cool, cool, cool. You can go back to the mall. And there's our modules. Let's start with tier 6s. They're pretty cheap at this point. Plus 1600, plus 1000, and minus 80%. Uh, this is already able to do more than 3 per second. So, we didn't bring splitters? Really? Is that the only thing missing? It is. 
just the splitters for the output. I can't handcraft them, can I? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, let's go back and get some splitters. Oh, and I could probably get rid of some of the excess floor over here. I could definitely get rid of some of the excess floor. Uh, but yeah, that is much scrap in storage for this build. More than enough to... Uh, I think it's almost enough to make 10k of each science pack before more scrap comes. So that should probably be fine. And we can just without worrying about um, encoded network IDs, we can just make it a higher priority to drop off here as opposed to where we go down the space elevator. Alright. Do we have room in here? Technically, we do. Do we really need 20 bulk rail loaders or unloaders most of the time? I think not. And deep space underground, uh, deep space uh, splitter. There we go. Let's head up over here again. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty minor change to the build, really. I mean, we didn't have to reshape our train stations or anything. Just add a solid drop-off over here and stop dropping scrap over here. And a big, big, big container. 11 train loads worth of scrap will keep us going for quite a while. And I'll pick up the uh, excess bits of floor for the look of it. Unfortunately, I guess I could just pick up the bots. To prevent them from doing that thing right now. That looks okay. And then... Get rid of this. I guess that looks more consistent. Oh, I didn't bring enough. Or did I? That looks a little strange. I'm sure it's fine. It'll do. I'm sure it'll pass inspection. Alright, let's head back to the mall. And we should have... Oh, wait, no, what's going on? Oh, no. Uh, okay, I'm glad we were already full on Matter Science Pack 1. Uh, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have realized this until we... Uh, until we had problems. Uh, we've got too many Meta Science Pack 1s, therefore we're not outputting the junk from the Meta Science Pack 2s. Surprise inspection, indeed. Amazing to see uh, UPS hitting 45 with the complexity of this build, indeed. Yeah, we're slowly crawling back up with our average and peak. Um, uh, 
I mean, we just need to priority output the stuff from here, and then we could put it through the splitter, but there isn't really room. Or to put it another way, there really isn't room. Also, oh wait, this was supposed to be filtered. No wait, I changed my mind on that, didn't I? Why don't I just put this here? Hello? Oh, the bots I stole. Yeah, why don't I just make this back one? Oh my god. Just give me those broken packs. Uh, broken data cards. There we go. So we only output the junk over here. We'll just avoid this, uh... This splitter. And... Now it looks kind of silly that we're, like, belting this back this way... We could always push from the front to the back instead of back to front here. So something like... That's going to be a little bit in the way. Something like this. Uh, except we need a filter first. And that actually fits beautifully. Could spin this around. It's a little hard to see, but we've got a loader going straight into this one for the junk cards. Cool. How fast do we make junk cards? Uh, broken cards. 3.2 per second. Not a whole lot. That's pretty neat. I can live with that. Also, we could just put this here. And we'll limit that to 50 stacks. Seems good. The rate between these two is positive on Matter Science Pack 1. If they're both running. So we'll see this one stuttering because the, the storage here is full. Uh, and we already got our fluids as well, obviously. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, and that solves the scrap problem. I mean, we still haven't put scrap into a new bring things down the space elevator system, but that's okay. I'll probably put scrap, um, because we've got a few things that produce copious amounts of scrap in the, uh, material sciences, uh, I think, like testing packs, we'll spread the job of moving scrap across a few of these schedules. 
All right, what are we going to update next? Uh, we did plastic recently, right? Yes. It's, oh, it's already drained out. Nice. Um, can we set this to provide stack threshold one and will it just get delivered? Possibly not. I guess we could just send it back to the mall. Uh, that's an awful lot of coal we've got here. Oh well, let's get started. I'll get rid of the coal last. Wait for inactivity. Get rid of the old power poles and wind turbines. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of that. Are we already full? Now we're good. And tidy up the straight rail. that we missed earlier. Looks like we're going to be a bit full already. All right. In that case, come back after you've unloaded things. What other builds require our attention? Plastic is already saturated. Beautiful. Um, I imagine solid rock of... Oh yeah, we limited this to 100 stacks. That is so much nicer than this uh, monstrosity that we had for such a long time. Which we can now get rid of. I think I'll just do that. I'm not even going to worry about the light oil or anything. It's all in range of the malt. So we can just have construction bots do their thing here. Station name is just solid rocket fuel. So vanilla train is going to end up coming uh, over here. To pick up the SRF until we update that. That's fine. And same thing over here, please. Where is this coming from? Nowhere. Oh, that's not quite in the robot network. That'll do it. Make sure we don't cross-contaminate logistic networks. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's no, like, robot network stuff over here. There's just, like, some remnants. Okay. We're not saturated on reagent anymore. And I... Okay, how fast can this delete... Or rather consume... Extract. 147 per second. And how fast are we able to produce it over here? We've got... 12 blocks like this. And we've got the core fragment processing to support it, if not the ability to bring in that many core frags at the moment. 
620 per second. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're... I, I think we may have actually overdone it, even for the end game for the vit. I'm okay with that. We can always scale it back, I suppose. If we're still scrounging for UPS. There we go. Very nice. Everyone okay over here? Nope, there is a train full of sand. Okay, uh, I believe there's some sand drop-offs. Yeah, top right for all these Vidomelange ones. Okay, go and empty and go back to depot. I think that was from the sand shenanigans from yesterday. So it shouldn't be a systemic problem. It should have been a one-off manual mistake. We did update Muir, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Did we get rid of the... Uh... Chimera. No, it's parked here. But we can definitely get rid of this old block. I really don't care about Ion at this point. Don't need any of these requests. It's out of range of the trains, so it should get itself sorted out quite easily. And yeah, we really don't need any of this here anymore. Should we keep the old uh, ship museum? Now this is something we can clean up as well. That's going to take a little while. Is it from yesterday, the sand train? Yeah, I believe it was. I believe it was yesterday. Trim all of this old stuff. That's so nice to be rid of those uh, million oxygen uh, atmospheric condensers. Beautiful. Is this empty? It is. We should send the decon train over to do that if it's not still recharging or something. Inactivity. And remove. And then get rid of the old wind turbines while you're at it. 
Nice. What are the old builds do we have left laying around still? Uh, this isn't exactly an old build, but... We do want to get rid of it. Where do we... Are we direct belting barrel? No, we're not. Quest tech threshold 100. Wait, how much have we got here? Like 2.4k. And we're asking for what? 10k. Shouldn't that be requesting a train? It should very yes be requesting a train. Long trains only. Request stack threshold 100. Oh, is it the encoded network ID? No. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't see any trains coming to pick these up. Surely we don't have a shortage of trains at this point. That doesn't seem to be it. Hmm. Uh, you know, what? we're a bit overdue to fill this block in. Make it look nice. Since it's a late game build. What's all this then? That is Crynite. Uh, Crynite slush into ice. And that's actually... I think we did... Yeah. When, when you've got one purple belt for each input of Crynite rods, you know this was built for the, the absolute end game. We can get rid of all this. Oh my goodness. So much crap. I'm really tempted to shoot away a bunch of, like, uh, cargo rocket sections, to be honest. They're just going to take so long to drain out. Good morning, hope you're feeling better. Thank you. A little bit. Alright, we can get rid of that. Apparently we don't have enough depot stops. Oh, that's not a depot stop, that one. Yeah, true. Uh, okay, why don't we just do that then? But I don't want to put depots right next to each other. It'll create too much traffic. Maybe... We've got... A depot here, 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 and here. These are vanilla depots. Oh, I think this is an LTN depot. It is. What? Depot 2. Depot 2. Huh. Look at all this empty space. I wonder how we ended up with one with a train queuing up for a parking spot over here. That's a bit weird. Doesn't seem to be causing any harm though. How's our science? Are we consuming? We are consuming. Oh, we're just doing astro at the moment. We should be able to jump back to whatever it was we were using. I think it was bio. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Product mining productivity. 
which happens to want matter science pack twos. What's this? Matter science pack twos. Oh right, we haven't made like 10,000 yet, have we? We're actually pretty close. Kinda. What's our rate? 4.38 per second? Or 262 per minute? We're looking at like 10 to 12 minutes. If that. Um... I wanted to check that that's the actual rate. of production, and yes, it sure is, ever since, what, about 10 minutes ago, 264 per minute, nice, we may as well go back to whichever one of these is cheapest right now, It's totally arbitrary, but I would like to knock them off. Okay. What be next? Um, we still haven't designed... What is missing here? Rough data storage substrates. Pardon me. Rough data storage subs. There they are. Oh, I remember. We ported this over to the new system. Did I forget to turn this on? No. We've actually got, like, two... Two channels where we're bringing up rough data storage subs. But I don't see any here. It should be downstairs. Yeah, we've got our vanilla trains. Oh, I see what it is. Or on this end, at least. We're only asking for one train load. And there's a little bit up there still for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why this one has exactly zero... Rough, door, rough data storage substrates, though. Oh, is this, like, a vanilla stop only? It is. Well, there's your problem. Uh, construction train? If you please. And while you're at it, Get rid of those. Okay. So this is just going to be... RDSS. Connect it like that. And as you can see, we do not need... You're going to have to get emptied. Uh, we do not need a vanilla schedule to pick up from here. Never again. So that'll make its way upstairs, but before it does, uh, now might be a good opportunity to redesign blank data cards. Let's see what our rate for blanks is, consumption-wise, over the last, say, 50 hours. 1.8 million, damn. 615 per minute. Now, I know a lot of those get produced as recycled blank data cards from some of the recipes, but let's say that we want to make sure we have, like, a thousand per minute uh, with our Top tier build. And that should be safe, I imagine. Uh, 
All right, we'll start with this. And add a little bit of that. Nice blank canvas for a space block. Uh, I'm pretty sure the data storage subs... Data storage substrate. There we go. Uh, this only goes into polished. Yes. We could use chemical gel and not make scrap, but it's just worse, basically. Um, and as for the polished, that only goes into blank data card. So just checking our work, we do indeed want... Um, decontamination facilities on the spot to feed directly into uh, space manufactories or going by our more common sorry more recent design philosophy maybe we'll support just one of these in each quarter block My voice is doing strange things today. Might take a break relatively soon. And... With this huge machine, we can do a direct insert from two bulk rail unloaders. Uh, this is supposed to make... Rough data storage sub. There's only two recipes in the block, right? Yeah. Oh, there's copper plate because this goes through so much copper uh, that we want to convert it on the spot. Rather than having the trains bring copper plate. And I'm sure that's only going to be more true with uh, T9 modules. But I was thinking maybe the the different numbers of modules that fit in these things make it a little, little bit less efficient if we put it under one beacon, but it still might be the way to go. Uh, so for the blanks, there's only one blank recipe, right? Like, uh, only one direct blank data card recipe. Even though there's 28 recipes that spit it out. Advanced circuit, copper, polished, data storage sub. Oh, we need to update the uh, junk data card recycling as well at some point. Though we're really not struggling with any of the resources that that entails. since we live on a cryonite world. Uh, okay, technically interstellar travel data spits out uh, blank data cards when we're doing the victory ship, but I don't think that really counts. Um, but yeah, only one recipe for the blank data cards. Three solids in, one solid out. No must, no fuss, except for the junk that comes out of making the polished data storage substrates. I'm pretty sure I didn't um, build this for tier 9 modules. Maybe? We've got two belts for red circuits. One belt for each machine for red circuits, and at the moment it only does 11 per second each. And one belt for copper each. Hmm... If we shove efficiencies in, 
put this down to negative 80% power. We're looking at, huh, only 72 copper plate per second, which is one deep space belt, less than one. And way less than a belt of advanced circuits. Hmm. What's our goal again? Like a thousand per minute, right? That's only two machines. Wow. Yeah. Let's definitely make this uh, a bit more... A bit more cut down, a bit more small, a bit more efficient. Um, so how many rough data storage subs do we need to keep up with this? 48 per second, wow. That is, if we put it under the same beacon, uh, exactly six machines. Can we make a nice little symmetry here? Not if it's, well, technically yes. Hmm. Uh, we could just put this a little further away from the bulk rail unloaders. So that should be a perfect ratio. What? Huh? Oh, it's not under the beacon. Yeah, that's literally a perfect ratio for polished. Um, each machine eight per second. So I need one solid, one fluid input for these other two machines. Let a tenth of a stack per second of advanced circuits. Almost half a stack per second of copper plate. That's not too bad. And... Could we deliver the rough data storage subs in the same place? It's one to one, right? Yeah, it is. So we're basically consuming... This stacks to 100, doesn't it? Yes. A tenth of a stack. Almost half a stack. A bit more than a quarter of a stack per second. Overall. So like 0.8 stacks per second? We need a train every less than two minutes to support this build. That's not too bad, right? I think that's probably fine. Now, as for shaping the belts and stuff around this... We are gonna need... If we're not using inserters... And I don't really trust inserters... We can, we can just get away with this, with filters. Advanced circuit... Uh, copper plate. And I almost forgot those are the only two things that go in directly. Uh, and we won't need more than, like, white belts for those. And then rough data storage subs need to go into these machines. I'm thinking something like this. Hmm. 
Well, but we, we need to take the pipes into consideration. All the inputs on the outside or uh, outputs on the inside, whichever. Something like that. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Probably not a very big one, though. Could maybe bring these in a little bit. The beacon's not going to fit there, that's okay. We could even make that symmetrical around the corner. Which should simplify what we want to do here. Oh. Like that. Okay. So far, so decent. Fluid input could probably go in the same place. It's only 180 per second. Wait, no. It is actually... Uh, 240 per second, which is still pretty... Pretty mild. I think we could probably maybe even just do a quarter block for the entire build. We've only got one junk output for solid and one junk output for fluid, yes? So we could maybe put... Pick up for that over here. And... Well, I was thinking of having... To pick up for the blank cards, like here somewhere, but is that going to be a problem? We could do two of these next to each other. Oops. And have the two outputs side by side. So something like this. And basically just, whoops, mirror all of this over here. Don't forget to connect these. side we put the beacon over here. So then I guess we don't need the fluid drop off on both sides. We could even do the junk fluid output on one side if we wanted to. But I don't think that's really necessary. Fluid, like so. Seems okay. There's no fluid needed for the blank cards. We do need to actually get the blank card output. Which makes this part a little bit awkward. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, and these need to be filtered. Rough data storage sub. For the direct belt. Morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now, if I were to belt this like so, I could do the old, uh, where is it? Delivery cannon capsule here. How fast is this? 12 per second. That is not as fast as I thought it would be. And this whole thing is only 15 per second. Okay. So really we've already got... We might already have blank data card builds for the end game. I, I'm pretty skeptical on that actually. Uh, but yeah, let's do the output fluid in the middle. Don't forget to copy and double check our filters. And I guess we could just do this pattern again. Limit the front one. Bulk rail loader at the back can be full. And this can obviously fill up as well. And that way we can have short trains or long trains for pickup. And I'm realizing I do want to do the fluid output up here. So this one's going to be like a, a mixed station. We'll figure out the requests here first. Advanced copper polished data storage sub. Uh, technically we can fit two train loads of each and there should be always be some space left over. And I'm realizing how little space we've got left to get the, the other belt out. Uh, so advanced copper plate. And rough. Uh, and we're also going to ask for... Oh. I spun that around. Uh, what's it called? Cosmic Water. Cosmic Water. Alright, so that is 200 stacks of each being requested. Uh, theoretically, we should never be, we should never have fewer than 20 empty, uh, 20 empty uh, slots on each side. We'll see if that actually pans out. In any case, even if the train got stuck for a moment, as soon as this thing consumes, uh, it should be fine. And we want to do output pipe. What if we follow this pattern? Wait, no, that's the same, same fluid. Oh. 
that's not going to fit. Oh no. Really? Really, really? you got to be one tile off fitting this corner in. I guess we could go around the other side. Oh, and that also should be spun around. So yeah, I guess we could start with this. Oh no. There's no way to connect this here without contaminating this and keeping it symmetrical. No. Ravna. Not happy, Jen. Can this come down here? Yes, it can. Is that going to reach if we put like a 3B here? It does. Okay, so maybe on this end, do it like this. I mean, this one machine could go up here, but that's not going to be a consistent pattern. Hmm. How many tiles is that? Four. So nothing fits symmetrically. Boo hiss. Connect those. Connect that over there. And I think we're just going to do something like... Like this. And then same thing over here. And somewhere or other, all of that needs to find its way back to this fluid container. Just enough room for the signals. Very nice. I like the look of this build. Now we need to find... Okay, so hold on. Let, let's do a check. So this is cosmic water. That gets to all of these. Uh, and we need it to get over here as well. Which might be a little bit awkward actually. Might be more awkward than anticipated, but I can I can see at least the plan B. And I'm not I don't hate the plan B too much. Uh, wait. Yeah, we can make oh yuck! Actually, that's not a plan B. Okay, let's figure out these belts and hope for the best. Uh, this should actually be filtered for rough data storage subs. This one should be polished. So that can, that's going to go over there. Okay, so this is rough data storage subs. We need, uh, only 48 per second. So white belts on each side is more than sufficient. That signal is in a very awkward spot. Actually, uh, even if it wasn't there, we wouldn't have room to do what I was thinking of just here. So I guess it's fine. Might be neater to just use inserters for this one.
Wait, where are we going to get the junk output to go? Oh no. I almost forgot. Um, we want the blank data cards to all end up on the left side. So that can just go here. Something like that. I might make that deep underground just to get rid of some of these. And for consistency's sake, do it like that. Except then we can't see the flow of the blank cards at all. Let's add a little bit more over here. Okay. We could always move these down. Well, no we couldn't if we want to keep the pylon in the same spot. Hmm. How much does each side need? Just barely more than half of a white belt. I mean, I could just make this deep. We could we could just make all of this uh deep space. It's not like it's expensive at this point. But I was thinking it's going to be a bit awkward to do it here, but if we just use a half belt for the input and a half belt for the output, It's going to be messy. Is the thing. Can we maybe actually make this part more consistent? And that'll give us more room as well. So that goes there. And we could potentially do some outputs here. I don't see where they would go. Still, it is more consistent. I like that a little bit better. Wait, what? Oh. Sh sure, I guess. These don't actually need to connect here. Is something I'm realizing. That's good. What? Seems good. So what are we going to do about this solid IO? Also not sure what we're going to do about this fluid IO. I mean, I'm sure we can do something like this. Welcome to mobile Twitch. I've discovered a very interesting thing. Twitch without a mouse sucks. Oh no. Peak web design? As expected of mobile design. 
Um, we're so close and yet so far. Can we physically fit even a bad looking version of something like this? I'm sure we can. And then, do we have room to output everything but the rough, in other words, scrap? Scrap would go like this. Uh, would go like this. There's only a tiny amount of scrap, right? Less than half of one per second. So we really don't need to use splitters to merge it properly or anything. Hmm. Maybe an underground over here. Something like this. This is going to end up spaghettified. Can I at least make this kind of symmetrical? That doesn't really make it easier. What am I doing? Okay, we know this is a point of symmetry. One, two, one, one, two, one. Oh, this would be like over here. I, I guess it'll have to do. Oh, that underground's in the way. I guess this could go over here. Please don't end up too spaghettified. I asked the neighborhood club if I could keep it at home. What? Don't want to give away anything now, but the fun stuff is coming for... Oh no. That seems sinister. Okay, can we at least copy this much over here, maybe? No, we can't. If I move this down one tile, why are we bonking? Could these belts go outside the tracks? Maybe, but... What are we going to do over here? Which we want to look pretty similar. Oh, we can't even squeeze this through here. Okay. Okay. Maybe I... Uh, I can't. I can't move all of these in one tile. Or can I? If we just use inserters to direct insert here instead of these loaders... Uh, and this would go here. I think.
this would go here. This would have to stay here unless we move these up. Okay. I wasn't happy with this anyway. And then these ones are going to go here. Uh, we might have to move the inserters a bit to make the pipes work. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Do this with one 3B. That's pretty cool. And then inserters like so. And hopefully it's going to become a lot easier to do our outside stuff. Oh, we can even fit this over here. That might be good. That might be very, very nice. What the? Something like that. Long underground, uh, yes. All right. So can we get away with rough data storage subs? Go this way. I don't like how little room there is up here. Might make things difficult. We'll see. I guess we, I, we can probably just go one belt in, one belt out with inserters here. I guess that's fine. Might need to squeeze this through. So oh no. Wait, the beacon doesn't have to be that tight, does it? Oh, we can move this up here. Cool, cool, cool. Why is... Oh, I see. I see how it is. So this one... The underground pipe is going to have to move. I don't think it can. Is there just... Are we one off again? No. There's nowhere else we can put this beacon because it would get beacon sickness on the other side. Ah. <sighs> I know, right? Hmm. Oh, also this could go here. Make that look a little bit cleaner. So let's say, let's say we do that. And this goes up here. What, what, why are you not facing the right way? And that could actually just... Go 
curve around like so. Why are you always facing the wrong way? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I haven't moved this yet. That makes sense. So really this whole thing is looking pretty good, except that we can't squeeze through here. We're one off being able to get this belt to go through this way. Mm. Also, I guess that would have to look something like this, unless we want the long arm down here somewhere. Does this pipe really have to be here? That is the question. Oh. I can probably move this down. Not really. Hmm. There's probably any number of places I could put this. Uh, or not. Oh, I haven't fixed this yet. Let's actually do that. Just get rid of all of this. It's only confusing us. And make a mirror of this. Get rid of everything that won't let us mirror. I'm pretty sure that's included. All right, so that goes here. Except these belts are facing the wrong way. Seems mostly good. That's not right. Let me just get rid of that. And get rid of a bunch of this random stuff as well. Item on ground. Be gone. I'll just, uh... You know, I was going to say I would copy-paste flip the belts. Some of them, we want to do that. Could have you settled for a weird corner? Yeah. Uh, how are we gonna... How are we gonna deal with these pipes, though? I guess we could do, like, this. No, there's just barely not room to... How about, how about this, then? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Not a fan. Um, but it works. Let's call that plan B. Or even C or D. Oh, I guess this doesn't have to go anywhere. Also... That doesn't have to, like, appear from the opposite side. Now, is this train stop still in the way? Not quite. It looks a little scuffed. But we can make it more symmetrical. And 
that actually doesn't have to be in the way of this thing. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say we could just do this as well. But then, how many blank data cards are we looking at? Uh, 24 per second. It's not even half of a white belt. So yeah, this doesn't matter. Okay. So we can maybe do that. It'll look a little bit tidier. We won't be able to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, calm down. One thing at a time. We're so close and yet so far. Confused by this. And that could just meet over here. And where are we going to put? Ideally, I would like to mirror this. Which would mean these are going to have trouble. No, no, they're not. We can just do this. It's only like 12. It's actually less than one uh, scrap per second. So that should be fine. Oh, this needs to be filtered for scrap. Uh, we need long filter. Why that's not so responsive? Peace to keep, Turtle Jackets, welcome in. I don't like Plan D. I die in Plan D. Oh no. I guess we could do it like this. Or something. Okay. Are these all filtered? They are now. And on this end, that should already be correct. That just leaves the fluids, right? Rough data. JD plays, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was the rest of your stream today? Must have been a long one, unless my memory is playing tricks on me or something.
Welcome in. Norway Norsk. Baseline welcome in as well. 16 hours, damn. I would die. Uh, so we need to do the output fluid still. But that probably won't be too difficult. Also, why is there no output? Oh, there's no cosmic water over here either. Sixteen hours, just one rocket. A rocket. Now I've got two hundred and sixteen to go. <laughs> Try to teach Sassy Factorio and failed, but we had fun. Fantastic. Um, do I really have to do this weird S-ish corner for the fluid pipe here? Maybe. We don't have room to, like, move this up a tile or anything. And I don't want to put the pipes down here. Oh, okay, first things first. Let's get... Uh input fluid to both sides. So I'm thinking we're not going to get across here, actually. Oh, that's looking... Yeah, yeah no, uh, it's going to be the plan B, I think. No, that doesn't even work. Crap. Maybe I will just do cosmic fluid uh, cosmic water input on both sides, uh, and the broken data, uh, sorry, the scrap output can have, uh, the, how you say, uh, contaminated cosmic water, except we can't do a pump connection here, it's not going to work with this curve, it would have to be here. Scrap is super slow, so we don't need to, uh, we don't need to have a big storage for it. We can just limit these to 100 stacks, and we can accumulate 1.4 train loads. Um, not counting what fits on the belt. So, 7,000 over 0.96 per second. It would take 729 seconds, or over 12 minutes, uh, to completely fill up with scrap here. I think we'll manage to get a train to take some of it away before that happens. Never tried this. Do mice work on Android? It's an interesting question. This is dipping into the other side of the block, though. I don't like that. Mm. So I really want to make... Cosmic Fluid input, contaminated Cosmic Fluid output, if possible. So these are already all connected? Yes. So surely we can get this done. It's just, can it look pretty, right? Oh, it still might be difficult to get cosmic water into this square in the middle here, though. Because we would need one more tile to put a corner here or here. I guess we... Uh... Okay, okay. Consider this plan C, but we could do it this way to get to the cosmic water. We might have to. Yeah, I, th I think that might literally be the only option. It's a little scuffed, but I mean, look at this. We can make a couple of small sacrifices for this to be, uh, this or double this to be our entire blank data card build for the entire game from now on. Okay. 
So if that's what we're going to do, which it looks like we must, uh, then contaminated cosmic water just needs to find its way up here. And the whole thing is so slow for fluid. 480 per second maximum. That it really doesn't matter what the shape of the pipes is. That said, I don't want to kill the symmetry by having a like an underground go up here, but it would probably be the neatest. Nope, never mind. It would not be the neatest way to do things. Can't really go that way. This is actually looking surprisingly hard to connect contaminated cosmic water up here. What if on one side we have cosmic water on the inside and on the other side vice versa? That might actually end up being a lot better. So it does mean this isn't going to be symmetrical. But this part is. And then we have to get the outside to here and the outside to here. So I guess actually this side Except for this. That's still going to look the same. Okay. So how do we get outside to opposite side on each side? Good question. I mean, we do have some space around here. We might just have to, like, go around the outside a bit. One off, really? Really, really? And this one would go down here. That might not be the worst. One, two, three. So if we then have like some 15s or something. No, we already established we couldn't really go this way. Uh, unless. Oh my goodness. It would have to be like that. I mean, technically, I guess that's okay. How many tiles is this? 27. Four fives and a seven? Oh, three nines, right? Nice. Okay, and how many is this? 32. 14, 28, and five? Uh, no. One off. Well, maybe that's okay. If we do the opposite over... Wait, what? No. This goes here. No, that's not right either. Good grief. This is looking worse and worse. The main thing is this goes here. And then... Well, it's not going to be the same distance, is it? I guess I could... 
Uh, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I, 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 we're still just going to do what we can over here. Uh, so this is... 31... I, I should really just put the, uh, the corner piece and go from there. Oh, this does go here. Oops. I thought that looked a little bit off, even though we knew it wouldn't line up exactly the same. Um... So that goes there, and that goes there. Could could you not? There, there we go. Why is this one? Oh, never mind. All right, so we're trying to fill thirty-two and twenty-six. Plus 9 is 24. 15 and 7. No. I don't want to use 3s if I can help it. is this? Eight. That's a five and a three. What if we start with sevens? Twelve. That's four threes. This is not going to work out. It's just going to just going to not be that neat. Sixteen is eight and eight, which is like five three five three. Or nine and seven which has no middle. Gross. We'll just pretend it's fine. And then over here, we're looking at 32, 14, 28, and 4. Uh... 15, 15, and 2. What if we start with 9s on the outside? 14 in the middle. I can live with that. Alright, that's not too bad. And is the whole thing working now? I think it is. Fluid system contents 36k, 36k, and so on. 253k. Yep, looks like it's all connected properly. I don't know how much this makes it easier to see or not. This is fine. I mean, it's okay. I just wish we didn't have to have this little pipe asymmetry. But that's what I get for... For not doing the fluid output down here. Now why are the machines on the right not doing anything? Is it just because we don't have inputs? Seems that way. Scrap is finding its way to where it needs to go. Fantastic. I 
I'm not too unhappy about this. If we had longer underground pipes, we could do so much better with the crisscross. Well, I don't want to... Uh, man, I was going to say I don't want to obsess over it for too long, but I'm realizing if we trim most of the fat of the space platform plating, it really makes the the pipes stand out a bit more. It looks weird. a bigger piece. And... I guess we'll fill this in. That looks kind of strange either way. I guess that'll do. Oh boy. I could just about live with this. Actually, I kind of like that consistency. Alright. So, that's it. Is this our final build for blank data cards? Welcome in Zaxxon, Cest, hope you're doing well. Now and then everybody enjoys some good pasta, indeed. Did you see the 2.0 will have railroad overhaul? Yes, very exciting. Oh, I missed some sketchy looking small holes here. That seems okay. Oh, and we haven't done the LTN settings yet. So that one is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're needing advanced copper plate. Oh no. Well, it's a bit late to worry about it now. Actually, I don't think it's as much of a problem. Rough data storage substrate. Um, so with with the last version, we made it request copper ingots because the demand for copper plate was going to be so high. But that's to support four machines, uh, and we did the belts so that it could theoretically go to max tier modules. Um, but we're doing one drop-off to support one space manufactory. Uh, and we already calculated the number of stacks that we need. Like, uh... What is it? Oh. Okay, that's more than I thought. Oops. How did I mess that up? So we're looking at most of one stack of copper plate per second... Uh, less than a quarter of a stack of red per second. And half a stack of rough data storage substrates per second. And fluid's pretty slow. Uh, a train every 250 seconds for fluid drop-off. 
Same for fluid pickup. Uh, a train every 138 seconds for copper plate. A train every 208 seconds for rough data storage substrates. I think that's going to be fine. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. I don't think we need to do the ingot to plate thing. All right. So we we need to request all of these things except for cosmic water on the right side. 40k, 20k, 20k. And rough. Rough data storage sub. Uh, and this one is also providing fluid. Provide threshold 60k. So when there's 60,000 contaminated cosmic water, it'll be... active. I'll just put that over here. Long trains only. Seems good. Now I kind of want to put... Uh, let's just copy this. Change this to provide threshold. Get rid of the fluid request. And that's it. That's the configuration. Dropping off these things, and when we've got 60k fluid, it's pick up. Cool. Is there a target of... Uh, SPS, SPM, three science packs per second. Uh, any any combination of any th science packs, three per second each, is the goal. Why are we stopped? Because there's no regular space science packs. Because there's no space transport belt. Because there's no small electric motors. I better know the answer to why there are none of those. It probably has something to do with porting stuff into the new bring things up the space elevator system. Uh, and I probably straight forgot. That I was... Uh... Yeah, I, I think I may have managed to forget some of these. Oh, here it is. Small electric. I've actually got it here. There's slightly less than a train load somehow. Um, they might be held by the inserters or something. So if we just bump up this to request another train load. We should probably make the standard two train loads. all of these. Alright, so that is small electrics on the way. LTN will bring it over here, vanilla train will take it upstairs, uh, vanilla train will drop it off up here, filtered loader will push it to here, and then it's in LTN. Seems to be working. Where are we going to put it? I did deliberately switch off the requests for rough data storage subs. So that we can move this stuff. I think I'd like to start with this one. Oh, there's so many items to move though. Well, this one's nice and empty. I don't really care about the cosmic water at this stage. Uh, the fact that we've got copper ingots and not copper plate makes it all the more awkward. But I guess... 
I guess I'll just conscript our floor train as a deconstructor. Pick up the copper plate and uh, copper ingots and so on and make room for the new build. Power Sun, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll do the usual thing, pick up... Uh, can we even pick all this up in one go? With four cargo wagons, theoretically maybe, but it probably won't get spread evenly across the wagons. Um, but if it does, then... Well, I was going to say we'd pick up all this stuff and then place the blueprint down and replace what we can straight away, but... There's no law to make that work, so never mind. Alright, I am long overdue for a break. Let's do some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes or so. Uh, what am I doing? This goes here. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds, uh, from level 19 from yesterday, that's, wait, no, my brain clearly isn't working, that's our record, <laughs> okay, uh, apparently we're starting from scratch, words on stream, we'll start that in about 30 seconds, I'll be back in a few minutes or so, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, how are we doing? Absolutely smashing level 8. Nice. We'll continue with Factorio after that. Are we out of room here? Yes, we are. Yeah, that's definitely going to take two trips. All right. That will just about do. GG, indeed. All right. So we're heading back with the floor train that I emptied out. Um, just picked up a bunch of... Did I empty words on stream? Empty. I turned off words on stream. Yes, cool. Uh, just picking up the remnants of the inputs. The direct inputs for blank data cards. We're going to clear this out and put our final build for blanks over here. And with any luck, uh, except for maybe copy-pasting it, we'll never, never need to do that again. Alright, where's our train? Did the bots already find their way back? Yes. Oh, here they come. I did set this to five seconds of inactivity. Can, can I not click on the... There we go. Yeah, no, the bots are definitely going to make it back. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I could also borrow one of these other trains, since this one it looks like it's going to be busy for a little while. Or I could do this. That might work. Yeah, that might speed things up a little bit. Nope. Trying to leave without me. Probably should have brought the plating this time. Nah, we'll pick up a bunch of this other stuff as well. It's fine. Alright, so that should be tr pretty trivial to empty out. I'll let the bots do this first so they get it done quick. And now everything else, please. Nothing in this container. Fantastic. I guess that bit of rail and signal is going to stay the same. Now, are we running out of room? Whoa, wasn't expecting that. Uh, very much so. But I can chuck a bunch of it into my backpack. What? Oh, we're full. And the scaffolding, please. Okay. Won't worry about the containers just yet. Back we go. And we're going to want to refill our floor train. And 
And we should be able to place... Oh, I didn't even make the blueprint yet, did I? Uh, let's just jump into the editor real quick. Blueprint. Snap to... Uh, get rid of the cheat inputs. 86.25.1. No infinity pipe. Blank data card. Uh, and I know we don't use productivity modules here, but I'm just kind of using that to show that this is the final version. That it's, the whole thing is shaped for top tier modules. T9 blank data cards. Maybe I should put this speed instead. Okay. And that goes in here-ish. And then we build. Right about here. First things first, we need our floor. Uh, and let's get rid of these little hidden holes as well. That's going to bug me. All right, we need approximately 1.6k space platform plating. We've already got it. Train is empty of other nonsense. Let's cruise over here. Wait for inactivity. Uh, we don't normally carry manufactories or uh, decontamination facilities for that matter. Let's grab a couple of those. We need 12 of these. Do we have room? We do. Seems good. Should be able to one-shot this build. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. Alright, wait for inactivity. We've got our floor. And... What is going on... With these signals? And here I assumed they'd be in the right place. There we go. Oh, I didn't bring any, uh... We, we don't have tier 9 modules yet. I didn't change the blueprint. I also didn't bring, uh, bring wide beacon 2s, actually. Hmm. We also need a bunch more... Uh, deep Space Belt, 132 to be precise. How much are we usually carrying? Only 100. And we want... Beacon 2s. Uh, where are we carrying the beacons? Because we should probably stop. with the tier 1 wide area beacons. So this one... Oh, I forgot to... set it up to leave automatically once it was done. Don't need these anymore. Uh, we got the beacons. That'll do. And it's not saying it's fully loaded because we only have like seven beacons. I think we fully automated those, but I should probably double check. It's probably, uh, probably that we haven't fixed Arcospheres. Which I guess we'll fix today. I suppose. Let's 
get some modules in here. Uh, not the modules I had in mind. Let's go full speed in the space manufacturing. And we want, I think it's 50, it's going to be a little bit different for the efficiencies in the white beacon twos. Wait, what? Aren't you already carrying efficiencies? You are. Oh, I think I know what the issue is here. We added another one of these up here somewhere. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need to make another trip for the more speed modules. Our mole looks so pretty and clean, indeed. What part of Arcospheres are we fixing? Uh, I think I'm just going to overhaul the whole thing. Because we've got a large enough amount that we can go by a simpler heuristic to decide uh, when to convert them. Welcome in Imo, our mole, of course. Where is construction train? Here it comes. Uh, and I want it to stay here for a bit, actually. Till we get the module ratio right. Plus 200% power. How much power is this? 6 megawatt. What's the ratio like, though? Very slightly positive on polished data. Sure. How, how much power do I save if I put one more efficiency in? So we got crafting speed 87 for triple power. Or crafting speed 83.5 for a fifth power. Hmm. Considering that this build is way faster than we need. Uh, well, it's actually slower than previous version because we don't actually have... No, no, no. It is slightly faster than these tier 3 modules. Four of these machines in the old build. Cool, cool, cool. I might mirror this and... Yeah, we should be able to... Uh, should be able to put a copy of that here. Nice. And then we've got all of our blank data cards in one convenient package. Um, I should head over there. It's going to be a little bit easier to clean up the mess from before this time. Did it change much from the original uh, Arcospheres? Was it really months ago that we did the Arcospheres? What, what kind of counts do we have here? We've got loads and loads of four types. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Uh, what am I doing? We're going this way. I'm just going to directly grab these blanks over here. Move them over. And as for the teeny tiny bit of scrap, we'll just toss that in here. And then we can pick all of this up. 
It's gonna get grabbed by the construction train. Uh, okay, you can go home for now. Oh, we're already picking up a train load of blanks. I, I know I, I I know I transferred a few that were already here, but wow, that's decent. Anyway, uh, this way it's either me or the floor train that's picking this up. And we know we're not going to have it get full. And then we'll grab our blueprint. Rotate it around. Uh, and once again I want to get rid of these little hidden bits of missing floor. Okay. Cool. Now we'll get the construction train involved again. I shouldn't have uh, told it not to carry these things. I didn't think I'd feel like doubling it already, but with current modules, it's only slightly faster than the old build, so... Uh, let's just make sure we have a handful of these. Fantastic. And park over here, please. Alright, back you go. Before designing a new Arcosphere version, can I implore you to give my blueprint a try? Uh, sure. Uh, we probably still need two trips to bring enough space belt. Deep space belt. Also, we can update the modules. And also, we probably didn't bring enough. No, apparently we did. Okay, uh, one more lap, and this build should be complete. Oh. And mark this slot for deconstruction. Many trains already queued up to come here. Oh wow, yeah, that's almost half a train load since that train came and took the blanks. I think this will probably be enough for the whole playthrough. We might just update the modules at some point. The dreaded spheres again, oh my goodness, right? I posted on Discord somewhere, but on mobile. Uh, is he? Is your nick this? Oh, I forgot to do the announcement again. Oh no. Well, I guess it's not that surprising. Can't really think clearly the last few days. All right. Uh, there's our construction train. Job's done. Fantastic. And let's just empty out the floor train. And we'll use it to decon the old blank data card build. I might even just get rid of this uh, this block here. We've got so many redundant blocks already. Well, 
it's not as bad upstairs as it is downstairs, because we, uh, we really hollowed out downstairs by trimming down our blocks, making them smaller and faster. Oh, here's one that I still haven't... No, I think I have updated this. We got 48 machines for each type of gear here, but I think we made a smaller version somewhere. Or I could just be imagining things. Yeah, could be that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then. This is literally just one in, one out. I could probably... I don't know where I would look, but there's probably a blueprint... A copy pasta I could steal where that's already done. But... I mean, we can just copy one of these and change the recipe anyway. No beacon for the steel gears? Uh, not right now, I imagine. But yeah, no, Steel Gear's demand is quite low, I think. Steel Gear 50 hours, 111 per minute versus 428 per minute. Pinged you on the Discord. Thank you, Veldak. Okay, Alt-Tab... Uh, this one? Copy the pasta. Jump into editor. Uh, import string. There we go. What do we got? Well, first of all, we've got way too much flashing. So this is an offset of pretending we have like two of each arcosphere each, or is this just a test input? If a greater than zero, oh I see, we're controlling based on outputs not inputs? Inputs are just unrestricted. How do we get A through, uh, sorry, 0 through 8, I'm guessing, and A and B? Each greater than 0 output one arcosphere of each type. Now that traces back to here. Each less than or equal to Arcosphere Omega output input count. Hmm. So this converts everything to one Arcosphere Omega. For each type that's less than or equal to Arcosphere Omega output one Arcosphere Omega. And all of them are outputting eight right now. What is this reading from? The robot network? Where, where is that going? Green wire goes to here, red wire goes to here. Each greater than zero output info signal. Input count. Where is info signal? Or does, does this work like an arithmetic? It converts the uh, signal type. I didn't realize you could do, what, do that with deciders, but I guess that's what you're doing here. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So for each signal output it, as input count, 
This is kind of like arithmetic, each times one output. Uh, I don't think you can do that with an arithmetic, actually. With one type of signal, you can go each times one output. At, not each, but some other... Some specific signal type. Unless... Each times one output... That. No, that works as well. I think. Yep. Yes, it does. That's equivalent. Okay. Anyway. Uh, for each signal, add it up into info signal. So info, info signal is our is our count of all of the arcospheres. Divided by 8. And then that goes up here. What's this one doing? Everything greater than zero output everything. Is that like each greater than zero output each? I've never seen everything used for that. And then same thing again. What? So these two are a chain of the same setting. This goes to here, goes to here, goes to here, goes to here. Why not? Is it a signal timing thing? That's the only reason I can think of to not just go straight here. It is signal timing. Okay. So we've got... Separating into the signal types, only if positive. Outputs to here, outputs to here. We've got... Uh, the average is what this info signal is. Uh, we've got either like a test input or... For some other reason, we pretend that there's two of each type. For each that's less than or equal to Arcosphere Lambda, output it as Arcosphere Lambda. How many Arcosphere types are less than or equal to Arcosphere Lambda? And the answer is 8 every time. That all goes up here. If a specific type is less than 7 or less than 2 for these four. That's weird. Oh, I think I get... Yeah, 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 okay. So this is 8 conditions to output A. Which goes way down here. Where do we do something with A? Is this... No? Oh, here it is. If A equals 8, so all of these conditions have to be met. The four outputs, I presume, have to be less than 7. And the four inputs have to be greater than 2. So this, uh, presumably this whole thing here is all just a large number of combinators to check a bunch of conditions. B is going to be a mirror image of that. And then you've got, like, recipe 1. If lambda and omega is greater than 4, and theta and C is less than 5, then... Well, if three of those conditions are met, then we're going to do recipe 1. So there's a lot of combinators. But it does let you be more granular with specifying uh, when it's going to do what. 
Eight is just because all are equal. Eight is most common, one is most rare. The two is needed, so we have a signal of each. Ah, yes. Yeah, I can see how that would work pretty well. How many combinators is this, though? Oh my god. 110, not counting constants. That That is... A few more than I would like. Even this is like 40, 42. Damn. Of course, I can't imagine. I can't think of a way to get it smaller. We can smuggle and conditions onto an inserter without using a combinator if we use both circuit wire connections for decision making and also logistic network. Maybe with the two in two out recipes. We could make those like zero combinators or close to it. Our conditions are we're low on these and we've got plenty of these generally. It's a bit more complicated than that. Um, there's combination recipes that go two in, two out of one type and another type. Like just converting lambdas to uh, phi, for example. And whether you do these by accident or not, you do need to do these uh, to successfully flip your arcospheres around. But I guess we could have four conditions on two com on, on two inserters with zero combinators. We could read the circuit wire. And we could also read from the Robo network, which could be the same thing, uh, like we've done before. So we could say Uh, lambda greater than x, omega greater than x, xe less than y, theta less than y. Uh, and two of those conditions would be on arcosphere, uh, the inserter for arcosphere lambda. Uh, and two of them would be in the conditions for the inserter for omega. Or you could even do four conditions on four inserters if you filter them. Uh, if you have two output inserters, one for C, one for theta. So for this thing to run continuously, all four conditions would have to be met. No doubt we're going to end up looping endlessly with a system like that, but I don't really care about that too much. We, we, we've done a very precise balancer before, um, but when we've got this many arcospheres, we, we just want it to work, uh, and I want it to work without a million combinators if possible. Individual flips are checking for below and above average. Indeed. Okay, did we get the... Uh, Yeah, this train is empty by now. Let's bring it over here and get rid of this mess. I did just see a train speeding along this way. So I guess I won't get rid of that corner block. At least not yet. Uh, I'm 
I'm sure it's going to take at least a trip or two to empty that out. Can I click on you? There we go. Wrong train. So we'll schedule a train to come back here again after one lap. And I really should port more of these items over into the new system. I, I think I'm going to do some of that off stream though, because it's going to be pretty repetitive, even though we've taken a chunk out of the, what, 70 or 80 items that we move up and down the train, uh, the space elevator. We did already design the fluid, uh, a more compact version based on the new system. Where was it? Here it is. Uh, one drop-off station that pumps directly to two different uh, pickup stations. With pumps that are Pumps that are going to check what fluid the train is carrying before they activate. Pretty straightforward. I don't really see managing to get much more compact than that. Like, maybe we could do the drop-off being between these two, and the pumps actually go directly to tanks on both sides. Um, but whether it's a huge storage tank or a large one, you do need two rows of them for the pumps to connect directly to rail on both sides. Uh, so I don't really see getting more than eight fluid types stored per block. Stuff that's coming up and down the space elevator. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely cut this down to, like, two blocks with plenty of room to spare. Are we empty here? Not yet. That's taking longer than I thought. Okay, uh, I want to do something easy right now. Which is what we are doing, but we have to wait for a sec. So is there something else easy to do right now? We do have uh, multi-cylinder engines already updated. And that is a lot of multi-cylinder engines, damn. We already disabled the drop-off here. I'm not going to wait for this to empty. Let's just... Uh, let's get the decon train involved. Over here, please. And start with this. And it'll set you up to make another lap. How's our dispatch system doing? That looks pretty good to me. Five 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 four 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 two two one one for the different resources coming in. And the ones that are slow are the ones we're not worried about. Uh, and we've checked several times now since the last update to the system. Uh, and haven't found the count has been incorrect. Storage, all surfaces, Vulcanite core frag, that is product. Thank you, War Striker. So that's four. One, two, three, four. Uh, what about Holmanite core frag? Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Uranium core frag. Is one. Remind Stone. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious <laughs> killer. Indeed. One, two, three. Beautiful. Beryl. One, two, three, four, five, is it? Yes. I think I think it's still working. I mean it's been uh quite a few hours of spaceships flying around. And we haven't seen any drift in the count for how many are coming back with each core frag type. So yeah, it seems like it's working. We're still only at like 16% downtime for the spaceships um, all time since we activated this. So maybe we do need some more spaceships right now. Uh, the downtime is a measurement of how how long this uh, memory cell was empty for over the last, I think it's minute, 10 minutes, could be wrong. Uh, and this one's all time. Yeah, this one's a minute. Oh, no, no, no. This one's like the current minute so far, and this one's over the last minute. What kind of percentage did we get? Um, but yeah, it seems like there's always a job to do. But that just means that the outposts aren't running out of core frags. Um, it might mean that... It, it might be the case that we've actually got, like, perfectly saturated resources for everything right now with our current demand. Uh, and because it gets rid of excess, turns it into matter, uh, it's not like it's going to stop. Oh, wow. Yeah, seeing Iridite backed up like that, um, that is a joy to behold. Never thought I'd see the day. Archivist broke, so maybe the, maybe the base is frozen. Uh, we're not doing any research that requires Archospheres right now. What are we stuck on? Utility science pack. Uh, where is that again? There it is. We're missing blue circuits, processing units. Oh, I know what I know what this is going to be. There's like just under one train load here. We need to double the request, or at least just make the request bigger than one train load. Um, but yeah. I think we should... Like, technically... If we don't do the rebalancer thing... Providing exactly one train load should mean that one train load is pick upable from here, but... We did, like, put the dregs of what was left in the old system over here as well. I should probably go and double check all of these. Uh, 40k, 40k, 20k, 10k. This should be 20k. 20k is only one train load. Make it 40. And... No, we already doubled this. Stacks to 50. No, it doesn't. 20k for the rough data storage subs. Already did this over here. That should be 10k. And this one's not in use yet. Over here we've got... Uh, two train loads, 
two train loads, two train loads, two train loads. Perfect. This again should be 40k. Anything stack size 200. And 4,000 is correct. Cables. And then down here we've got... I already checked this, didn't I? Yes. And I think we had one more... Yeah, here we go. One more block. Okay, so that should be 10k. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves with the requests. If there's more than one train running a schedule. Because the system doesn't know what's in the train. Or trains. But yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine asking for just two train loads. When the drop-off by itself can fit six. Never mind that there's a drop-off going into uh, a pickup. Wait. Stack size 10. 2,000 is correct. Yeah. Oh. This one's empty. Oh, this one's empty. But we marked it as being for gold things. We haven't done the top left. Okay. Uh, apparently we are expecting gold things to come up here though. There is a lot of... Well, some of these things. That we moved over from before. But yeah, I should probably fix that. Uh, so we need... Girder, bearing, composite, and assembly. Heavy girder. Two trains. Heavy bearing. Two trains. Wait, do we have the channel set up and everything? We do not. Uh oh. Uh, so that should be. Go to bearing, etc. Cool. Station name is already updated. Heavy composite. 10k. And heavy assembly. Switch it on, and the light should go yellow. Because we've got girders on the way. Seems good. How's the vid doing? Been a bottleneck for ages? There's always a bottleneck, but the, we've got a bottleneck that's in a preferred part of the chain right now. Um... This is always saturated. I mean, the, the input to make vitam uh, reagent is always saturated. And right now we're totally saturated. That's weird. Oh, we have no glass here? Oh, I think it's on the way. Is this train stuck? That's one of the sand ones. Okay. Uh, sand actually needs to be dropped off up here, so why don't you do that? And then come back. I feel like I should do a search for trains with sand in them. There's probably quite a lot of those moving around. Do you make material test packs on planet for prods? I do. The stack size is so annoying. It is. 
Uh, that's... At first I set it up so that we would make them really, really close to the space elevator. I mean, they are still very close to the space elevator. Um, but yeah, we came up with a system where it doesn't really... It doesn't matter as much. Are you okay? Let me guess. Sand. So many escapees with sand. Go and empty over here, please. Uh, what were you saying? Stack size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I built it super close to the space elevator so that there'd be a shorter trip for our trains that do the pickup of the testing packs. Uh, and we're still pretty much doing that. But these two schedules both move testing packs. Any chance we can get a world download. Uh, sure. We'll do that today. I mean, you already can if you check out the Discord. There's, uh... I don't know when the last time is I uploaded it. But it is available. There we go. Okay. Now, how are we doing over here? Ready to pick most of it up? Wait for inactive. And... Boop. I want no mistakes this time. Last upload from a month ago. There you go. Now how are we doing with that decon downstairs? Oh, there's... Yeah, that... That merger container is pretty full. That might take a little while. Wait for inactivity. Do it again. Wait for inactivity. Nice. Let's pick up all of this. Let's, uh... Let's reload without this scaffolding. Because we're going to pick it up when we come back here. And we'll place the flooring once there's room. Oh, wait, no. No, we've already got, like, a little bit more blank data card production capacity than we previously had. Uh, we can just stick with this for now. If we need more, we'll build more later on. We're trying to get our UPS back up. Is that a moving RoboPort? It is indeed. Crastorio 2... Or, if you like, uh, vehicle equipment grid lets you put certain things... It, it gives you equip equipment grids for vehicles, basically, and you can make builders out of them. Very, very handy. I was very sad about how far away Spidertrons were. Uh, until I realized I can just make these much, 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 much sooner. And they have their advantages, no matter how high your tech level is over spiders. Like being able to set schedules um, for the trains to do this stuff. Which, you know, they're not going to be 
they're, they're typically not going to be super optimal. Like this, for example. When you're not paying attention to them. But... Stuff that they get done while you're not even looking is... Very player action efficient. Vehicle equipment grids? Just thought that was like a special Roboport train. That would be cool too. I, I think like... Honestly, I'd love to see that in vanilla. A Roboport wagon. With some storage space. How much Vita do we have? We're still getting... I'm not entirely sure why... So all of these are basically saturated, um, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure why the left side always exhausts sooner than the right side. On both sides, we're direct belting the vi uh, Vidim Lounge away to a nearby block. The left side goes south, and the right side goes north. And these two go into these two, which goes through this. So that merges and splits. Not with like a proper splitter or anything, but it it's functionally good enough. These two go into these two. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any any difference here. It's not like one's going through a splitter and the other isn't. Um, I don't know. A LTN might just be favoring... If we've got resources available in many places, it might just be favoring the ones that are nearest. I, I guess. What the heck is going on with... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Why do we have no Vidim Lunch here? No. Right. So we're actually not... That's weird. If the left side is empty... Wouldn't that imply LTN is taking from the southern blocks more often? Which are definitely not the closer ones. Like, it's no problem or anything. We've obviously got uh, Spice and Extract super saturated right now. It's just... We're just not accumulating as much extra... And we're not accumulating as much methane gas uh, as we otherwise might. But yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, I think I know why it is. Because the ship is asymmetrical. There's more storage on the right side. And the bots just kind of stochastically end up putting more stuff on the right side, I guess. Because we make uh, we make sure the ship doesn't land unless there's room to completely empty it, or thereabouts, with the requests. Yeah, we've got 40k of requests here. We wait till... We wait till there's less than 18k in these containers. Which means we can fit about 22k here, which means it should empty out all at once. But... If the Vidimolange is flowing... It won't necessarily put, like, basically all of it 50-50. And maybe the bots prefer what's closer. Yeah, yeah, I think... That might actually be it. And because this output doesn't go to this side and vice versa, that's what we end up with. Hmm. 
I mean, I could always fudge it by, like, belting this to here or something, but... Doesn't seem terribly necessary. Right saw has... Uh, right side has more fragments on board the ship, exactly. Hmm. Okay, well... It's a bit earlier than the usual finish time, but... I am a bit more... Undead than the usual week. So I think we're going to finish up pretty soon. I almost forgot that I wasn't going to make another blank card block here just yet. Uh, let's find someone to raid, I suppose. I am pretty happy with that new build. I just wish we could have done the crisscrossing pipes more cleanly. And I guess the input-output belts around the sides aren't the neatest thing in the world, but we got some we got some nice symmetry anyway. Oh, what's what's our limit? Oh, rough data storage subs. We're able to consume a hundred and thirty-three per second almost. And I think we have one build making them, and it hasn't been updated. Uh, 30... 31 per second. <laughs> this might be a good opportunity to, uh, to update this build. Yeah, uh, that needs an update, and we can... We can make a faster version with better prod bonuses with far fewer machines. Something a bit more like this. Or this. Mr. Dane, Atomic Nature, both doing SE. Indeed. Thank you, Veldak. Alright. Let's pay him a visit. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And until next time, stay safe. I'm going to drop in on Diablo... Pay him back for the very late raid last time. I've seen him streaming, like, pretty late compared to previous times a few times now. Diablo with Dangerous, indeed. Uh, I already can't remember if I just did the, like, ending spiel. Brain is broken. Alright, take care everyone. See you next time. But night vision goggles, though. All right. I can't see shit. I mean, poopy. Tyrannosaurus Hex is raiding me. Hello, sir. How are you today? We need to start clearing out... Our